This is Alim from Javelin playing with the new toys introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2013, Service Pack 2. Yes, you have heard me correctly. Service packs are not only for fixing bugs, but sometimes they increase the functionality of existing tools. This video will concentrate on the new functionality added to the relations that can be applied between a conic and a spline. So, in a Service Pack 0 and 1, and uh, the first part of this video actually is going to be delivered using Service Pack 0, if you connect a spline and a conic and uh, you want to add a relation between them, the only one that can be added is tangency. You cannot make them uh, equal curvature. So if I am to show you the curvature comes for these two curves, as you can see at this point I have a difference in magnitude for the curvature, so obviously I don't have equal curvature. Now allow me to pause this video, upgrade to SOLIDWORKS 2013 Service Pack 2, and show you what you can do there. So I am back after just finishing upgrading to Service Pack 2 and let's try again. Creating a sketch, creating a conic, connect it to a spline, let's add here a little bit of curvature in the spline, select both of them and let's see what relations we have available at this time. So not only the old tangency but also the equal curvature relation can be added in SOLIDWORKS 2013 service pack 2. Let's evaluate the curvature comes and as you can see at the point of um, the common end, at the common end of the two entities you have not only the same direction but also the same magnitude for the curvature. So this is another great example where it's a good idea to keep your SOLIDWORKS subscription up to date because service packs do not just fix bugs but sometimes they add new functionality to the existing tools. Thank you very much.